Okay, we've measured the mass of this metal cylinder with a triple beam balance, and now we're going to do it with two different digital balances. And in doing so, I want to show you the importance of using the same equipment over the course of an experiment. When you get on your bathroom scales at home and weigh yourself, and then you go to the doctor and weigh yourself, do those numbers always agree? I don't know about you, but for me, I like my bathroom scales at home better than I like the scales at the doctor. So you see, they're both weighing pounds, and even if we're wearing the same clothes on both scales, they're going to read differently. It depends on the device you're using. So I'm going to start with this scale. Notice, there's the decimal. This scale measures to three decimal places. So in other words, it will measure to the milligram. Now, before I put this cylinder on the balance, first I have to be sure that this is set at zero. So I'm going to push the zero button, and it's zeroed. You have to be careful because bumping this balance will cause the numbers to fluctuate. And this cylinder weighed 54.6 on the triple beam, and here it's going to weigh 54.086. And I'm going to record all of these numbers on my data sheet. I'm not going to round. When I'm using a dig digital balance, I don't round. I don't estimate. I record every number. So it's slightly different from the triple beam. It wouldn't matter over the course of an experiment as long as I picked one of these balances and stood with it. So this is, was 54.086, and then it started fluctuating because of air. Let's see what this balance. It's just a different balance. It still weighs two. Three decimal places, a milligram. We've got to get it to zero. Okay. And when I lift it, it's probably going to start fluctuating even more. And it's going to weigh at 54.064. So perhaps these digital balances are calibrated more accurately. But that's different types of balances. And again, I'm going to record on a digital balance every decimal it gives me. I'm not going to be lazy and just write 54. I'm going to record every number a digital balance gives me.